So, uh, welcome you all uh, to this class. Uh, what we are going to learn uh, today is uh, memory uh, design. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let's first uh, try and uh, classify the uh, memories. Okay. What are the various kinds of memories uh, which are available? Uh, so, uh, essentially, uh, I can uh, call memory uh, as volatile and non-volatile. Okay. Uh, so, when I say volatile, uh, what it means is, uh, now once you uh, switch off the power supply, uh, the memory is not uh, retained. Okay, so whatever data has been uh, returned, uh, no, returned to the memory, memory uh, can be accessed as long as the power supply is there. So it will store data uh, tem as long as the power supply is there. Okay, so there's no uh, time limit. Okay, uh, if the power supply is there for uh, ten years, it, it will retain that memory out there. The moment the power supply goes off, okay, if you are uh, uh, removing the power supply or the video to that cell to that memory the data will uh, no more be uh, available okay so that is known as uh, volatile uh, whereas non volatile even if the power supply is uh, not there then uh, still you know, the memory will be retained okay uh, now uh, within the uh, volatile memory okay most of the volatile memories are uh, read write memory okay again it can be uh, classified into uh, two one is known as random access okay uh, random access means uh, uh, suppose i have an uh, like i have an sram of a few gb data okay uh, so for, for a few gb capacity okay uh, i don't have to sequentially keep uh, uh, going from one memory i can write a data uh, into a memory location okay uh, say uh, 8000 h uh, and read the data from 8000H. I don't have to go and uh, start writing the data from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. I can pick up any random memory, write data and uh, read data. Okay. Uh, so, uh, here within, uh, uh, they are known as random access and that is why this RAM comes from. Okay. This nomenclature. There are two types which is SRAM and uh, DRAM. S SRAM stands for uh, uh, static RAM and D stands for dynamic RAM. Uh, static RAM like and like we learned about the static CMOS circuits okay uh, so they are not an, uh, dependent on charge being stored in a capacitor uh, they are generally a latch which will store data whereas dynamic RAM uh, essentially uh, the ch uh, charge is stored on on uh, capacitances okay so that is the uh, difference okay uh, so uh, is this much uh, clear to all of you can somebody uh, respond yeah okay uh, now i can have a non random access okay a non random access is like an fifo like first in first out or uh, last in fo, uh, fo so one example of uh, last in uh, fo is the stack register like a microprocessor uses a uh, stack register what is that that's just a memory where uh, you keep uh, putting data into the top and then you keep removing from the top okay a shift register also uh, can be called as an a uh, non random access because from one side you put and you take the data from the uh, other side okay uh, this is known as uh, content addressable uh, memory okay uh, so uh, this works in a slightly different manner uh, instead of we putting the address and taking the data from the memory cell uh, you put the data onto the data line uh, and then uh, you find out what is the uh, address which contains that particular data so we'll uh, learn about this you know, in the uh, towards the end of this class okay uh, then coming to uh, non volatile okay non volatile means uh, uh, obviously like i said uh, even if it doesn't require enough it requires a power supply for its operation but even when the power supply is switched off uh, they will continue to uh, hold the data okay uh, so it it means read write memory there are again two classifications a read write memory means you can uh, read a data and uh, you can erase it and rewrite the data okay read write means you can do multiple read write operations okay uh, whereas rom means uh, only you can uh, program it once okay uh, once you have uh, returned the program then you cannot erase and rewrite it so that is the uh, difference okay uh, so uh, these are the uh, semiconductor memory uh, classifications okay uh, now um, before uh, taking on uh, each one of them in detail uh, let me just uh, define uh, what are these uh, figure of merits okay uh, one is known as the read access time okay uh, now uh, every memory cell you need to give an a uh, read signal uh, uh, before you start actually reading the data uh, so you given a uh, read signal okay we'll see that uh, once you give the read signal right uh, 
it, there will be some definite time for data to get settled on to the uh, bus bar okay uh, so that time once you have placed the read signal and the time taken for the data to get uh, stabilized on to the uh, data bus bar so that is known as a read access so if this is now uh, this access time has to be as less as possible for fast operation only then you can read it uh, fast right if, if it is going to take large time once you have given the read cycle and then it is taking a lot of time for the data uh, from the memory cell to be written on to the bus bar that means it is an uh, slow uh, memory device okay so this has to be minimized okay so uh, similarly you could have an uh, right access time so once you have given a right signal uh, you place a data and then you, pl you after placing the data you put the right signal okay so generally you have to be very very uh, this is uh, to be understood clearly that data has to be placed before you enable the right signal okay uh, otherwise uh, uh, they could be an uh, error not that you place a right signal and then put the data you put the data and then you give the right signal high okay uh, and then you need to uh, now hold the data for a certain uh, period of time for the data to be uh, captured by the memory cell okay only then you need you can uh, remove the uh, data signal so this is known as write access okay so at least for this much time uh, the data uh, requires to be uh, stable uh, right you know for the data to be uh, captured uh, so uh, that is about an uh, uh, read cycle uh, uh, read access and write access timings now uh, let's see another memory uh, architecture right so uh, you will have an, uh, several uh, words okay uh, each word uh, actually a uh, word is an 16 bit data uh, so you could have a memory of an, a double word also that means an, uh, each will be of 32 bit or you could have an, a single byte memory also uh, like in the case of 8086 where it is 8 bit data now uh, here we are taking an example of a word so uh, each of them uh, will have uh, 16 individual uh, uh, <coughs> uh, memory cells okay each cell will uh, hold one data so this is a memory cell so in a word there will be 16 such bits and each of them will hold uh, uh, one data zero or one now from the microprocessor side i need to uh, select one word okay uh, so uh, one method is like uh, if, if if i have say one uh, mega memory uh, from the microprocessor side i i to select each of them uh, i should have one mega lines and one of the lines should go high right so that is very very inefficient way of doing it right so uh, what we generally do is uh, from the microprocessor side okay we just have 20 lines okay uh, and 20 lines and then you have a uh, decoder okay and, and the decoder is going to decode it and you have one mega lines here i'm just giving uh, one particular example of 20 lines and one mega and uh, there so accordingly there could be uh, n number of uh, address lines so total number of words will be 2 to the power of n so for, for a particular example which i am discussing here uh, specific for uh, 8086 uh, in the case you have uh, 20 uh, input lines right so uh, the decoder uh, within the memory this decoder is generally uh, within the memory okay so it will activate one of the uh, word lines okay uh, now uh, having a plain uh, memory architecture like this the uh, issue would be like it, it is uh, <coughs> and, uh, uh, the, the height is very high and the width is in it, it is asymmetrical right uh, so the, the aspect ratio there is an uh, issue so in the layout also you know, there could be an uh, issue so it is uh, better to org organize it in a slightly better manner uh, so what you can have you can have a certain address lines uh, here as row decoder and you could have certain lines as a column decoder okay uh, so uh, so once i uh, have a specific address the row decoder will select one particular uh, line okay word line there there will be uh, no, within the line uh, it is not a single word but there will be multiple words out here uh, but one particular whole row will be selected and once that whole row is selected uh, from the column decoder again you have a uh, few sets so the address now is distributed into uh, two sets uh, so uh, from the second set one column will be uh, selected so the intersection of the row and the column that particular and a word will be selected okay now understand when i am saying a word line out here there are uh, no, there is uh, 16 uh, individual memory uh, cells okay uh, uh, this is uh, as of now uh, we are talking about a uh, 2d memory cells okay uh, amia uh, we'll talk about uh, 3d uh, now okay uh, now and, and then uh, when we are uh, generally uh, to write a data uh, into the memory cell now you have 
uh, you can have uh, you know, the microprocessor output buffers will be there they will be you know, uh, sufficient enough uh, you know, they will have sufficient power to write the data into the memory cells but uh, when we read the you know, data from the memory cells so we can't make these memory cells very very uh, strong right if you make it strong uh, right it will uh, start consuming uh, more uh, area so you can have uh, some sense amplifiers uh, to interface this uh, data line uh, with the memory cell so you have some uh, sense amplifiers also right so uh, we'll talk about the uh, 3d storage so generally uh, these days uh, what we have it is known as either you could call it as 3d storage or a hierarchical uh, memory architecture so so uh, the now the address is uh, divided into uh, three okay uh, one is row address uh, one is column address and then uh, something known as block address okay uh, so we'll see this and uh, how this is implemented in the next slide okay uh, essentially uh, so uh, what uh, the advantage is that uh, so once you uh, uh, select a particular address only a small uh, block will be uh, powered okay so it is not that these will not be powered at all uh, because once only those uh, blocks uh, corresponding to a certain address so for a specific address this block will be uh, and, uh, triggered and for the next this block will be triggered right and within the block there are many cells and that will be decided again by the column address okay um, uh, so we'll see that exact how it is done uh, but the basic there are two uh, advantages one is obviously about the uh, power saving because only the required uh, uh, blocks will be powered not the entire memory cell will not be powered okay and and second is a uh, shorter wire within blocks okay so so because you have an a partition and everything into small 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 uh, blocks okay so let's see uh, how it is done uh, so this is the uh, uh, global word line okay so uh, depending on the uh, address line and uh, one line will be activated okay uh, and then uh, depending on the block okay uh, so one uh, from here so so this uh, global word line there will be several uh, word lines within the global uh, word lines there is sub global and uh, a word uh, word line right so there are uh, several memory cells uh, here also right so now uh, once you uh, select the particular block uh, and a uh, uh, global word a uh, uh, word so these particular cells will be and uh, uh, activated okay and there also again you have a column line so once the column line is activated only that particular uh, cell will be uh, activated basically now the address is in uh, three levels okay so so the particular cell is zeroed down uh, like that okay this the only thing is uh, see uh, once you have an address line uh, and if the uh, 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 block is not particular select this entire block will not be powered at all so that is the advantage of uh, uh, having uh, memory architecture uh, like this okay so uh, is it okay okay uh, so now uh, this needs to be uh, understood and uh, clearly uh, what is an uh, 60 uh, sram okay uh, so you have an uh, 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 6 n uh, 4 n mos transistors and uh, two pmos transistors and and from here uh, the name uh, 60 60 stands for uh, six transistor uh, sram uh, static ramps okay uh, so a uh, static ram because uh, it is an uh, cross coupled an uh, amplifier and the, the charge uh, uh, is not stored on any kind of a uh, capacitor out there right so uh, it is just an, an uh, uh, static logic which we have learned earlier so that is the reason now uh, how to uh, write a data uh, into this cell okay so uh, these are the two uh, uh, n2 and n4 are those two uh, enable uh, transistors which connects this particular cell uh, on to the lines okay so generally uh, all the uh, data lines okay uh, for an uh, ram uh, for a memory cell it will have a bit and bit bar it is a dual rail uh, signal okay uh, so that is how it uh, works so you will have both bit line and the bit bar line so uh, to write a data you uh, enable these two uh, transistors okay uh, once you uh, enable these two transistors okay uh, so uh, i put the data which is to be uh, written on the uh, bit lines now suppose i am uh, writing so uh, initially uh, a uh, that this node is zero if i have to write a one uh, i'll put a uh, one out here okay i'll put a uh, one out here i'll put a uh, zero out here initially this is a uh, zero here now the first action uh, 
uh, which is uh, to be done is uh, this particular node was initially one I have put a zero here so through this uh, n4 okay this needs to be pulled to zero so if you see here the first action uh, which you know, starts happening is uh, a, a bar is being pulled to uh, zero okay so as this node uh, no, uh, comes to uh, zero out here right uh, this feedback is given here so this pmos uh, switches on and uh, a starts uh, uh, charging to one okay uh, so it is always that zero which we uh, place out here uh, pulls the one which is already there to a zero right so if you see that is um, the most important thing and as a result this node uh, goes high okay so when i am putting it zero it means that uh, this N4 transistor has to be much stronger than P2 because initially it was 1, right? So, this will try and uh, maintain this node at 1, right? So, it ha the N4 has to uh, overcome the uh, currents being provided by P2 for this transistor to uh, flip data and capture the new data. Uh, similarly, uh, N2 has to be stronger than uh, P1. Uh, is this uh, aspect clear to all of you? Uh, otherwise, if you uh, design an uh, 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 SRAM, it won't work. You will not find this data uh, being uh, uh, returned here. Uh, if if there is uh, time today, I'll uh, show some simulations also. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, see uh, how is this data returned into the cell? Okay. Let's assume that uh, initially uh, a zero has been uh, uh, returned in this cell. Okay. Initially, prior to writing a new data, so N N two and N four is uh, 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 off okay because the this is the word line i have not yet selected the previous data whatever was written was okay uh, zero so a will be zero uh, a bar will be one okay uh, since in uh, <coughs> so uh, if a bar is one obviously you will find this uh, p2 is uh, switched on and it is trying to keep this node at voltage at uh, uh, i uh, uh, a is actually the uh, a and a bar is the uh, output of the memory cell okay this is the uh, bit line okay uh, a is the data right a is uh, presently not the data it is just the uh, data of what is there in the uh, cell okay now i want to write a data uh, as one okay initially it was zero i i need to write one here so what do i do i am going to place one on the bit line i am going to plus zero on the bit bar line okay so if you see here a bit bar line has been uh, pulled to zero first okay and bit will be one so this is 0 this is 1 after having placed the bit and bit bar lines i am going to uh, activate these two cells okay the uh, word word line i am going to put it high that means these transistors will uh, become high okay now i have put a zero here whereas this pmos initially is on so this is going to be one here but this nmos has to be uh, strong enough to pull that line to a zero uh, uh, is it okay now what's happening so so that is why uh, the uh, size of n2 uh, and n4 has to be uh, no, uh, bigger than p1 and p2 p obviously these are pmos so they'll be weak as such but uh, still you will have to depending on the technology what you are using uh, if you find that data is not being uh, returned uh, into the cell uh, that only means that your uh, n2 and uh, N4 is not uh, uh, strong enough. So, uh, when I say strong enough, the width of these transistors have to be uh, higher uh, so that to overcome the currents being provided by uh, P1 and uh, P2. Okay, So, that aspect you need to uh, take care. Okay, uh, So, this is how the right operation uh, happens. Okay, uh, uh, Is the right operation clear to all of you? Yeah, Dev Dutt. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, N2 should be stronger than uh, P1 or N1. Uh, no, uh, I have not uh, spoken about N1 and N3. Okay, as of now, uh, we are talking about N2 and P1. N2 has to be stronger than P1. N4 has to be stronger than uh, na, uh, P2. We will talk about N1 and N2 now. Okay. Uh, so, as of now, that is one condition. Okay. Now, when I uh, read the data, so how do I uh, read the data is, uh, I pre-charge both these nodes to high. Okay. The bit line and the bit bar line, I pre-charge it to uh, 1. Okay. Uh, once I pre-charge it to 1, when I have to read the data, again, the same uh, word line will be, uh, so it was 0 earlier, uh, uh, isn't it? N1 was responsible for uh, 0 
let me go back uh, uh, here right yeah uh, n1 is uh, 0 here okay uh, uh, here uh, <coughs> uh, so uh, we are talking about the uh, read operation now uh, when we are uh, reading it okay we put both the lines to high okay uh, pre-charge it and remove the signal which is driving this when i say pre-charge it is not that you are continuously putting vdd here you have put vdd for a uh, small amount of time and re uh, removed the vdd and now these lines are uh, floating okay uh, so once they are uh, floating uh, the transistor and uh, now uh, one uh, initially if you, it is if it is one out here what is it going to do here and uh, uh, this line is going to remain one if it is zero here then n1 will uh, pull this and uh, whatever is the floating charge available on this line uh, that will pull it to uh, zero okay uh, similarly if it is an uh, 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 zero out here then then uh, 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 there will be an uh, 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 suppose it is a uh, one out here then this transistor will pull the bit bar line to zero uh, so both are pre-charged with some uh, no, to vdd and then the that pre-charging circuit is eliminated from the circuit so they become floating and once you connect the cell uh, so one of the nodes will be pulled to zero now uh, while pulling it to zero n1 and n3 is the ones which is going to uh, pull it to zero and hence the size of n1 and n3 uh, has to be uh, no, much bigger than uh, n2 and uh, n4 okay uh, because now uh, no, the, the, this has to overcome whatever resistance uh, these provides so uh, 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 otherwise what happens is like at uh, the moment it is getting uh, connected here okay these are like two uh, no, resistances okay uh, so there will be small uh, bump out here right and then slowly slowly it will get uh, discharged so this bump will increase uh, in case this uh, n1 and n3 uh, like they are in series two there is a one voltage here there is a zero voltage here uh, this is on this is on so it is like two resistances so if they are uh, uh, exactly equal there is a possibility that this can come up to uh, 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 half vdd and then go back so but th that can flip the uh, uh, state uh, uh, data stored in the cell also so that is why uh, uh, n1 and n3 have to be uh, kept uh, much much higher than uh, n2 and uh, n4 uh, uh, so uh, n1 yeah now uh, if i summarize it uh, no, okay uh, so you you understand what this bump come from so I'll, I'll summarize what we are talking okay uh, this bump comes because this is high uh, this is zero and the moment i switch it on there is vdd here there is one resistance here one resistance here so it will take some time for this to get discharged right and during that time there is a possibility of this going into a small bump if you want to keep this bump as you know, uh, 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 low as possible then n1 has to be uh, higher okay so uh, uh, summarizing the read and uh, 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 write operations okay so this is what right this is the weakest pmos then a medium these two nmos and these two have to be the uh, strongest uh, is it clear now to all of you uh, how do we uh, size this right uh, so if you uh, 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 my simulation results at 180 nanometer what i have tried uh, if you keep keep the uh, double the size it would work fine right uh, uh, like, like like for pmos uh, i kept 120 uh, these also i kept at uh, no, uh, 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 the, these i kept at 240 and uh, these i kept at 4 even i th i think because pmos was weak and uh, if i i'll show this try and show the simulation results uh, because as such nmos is uh, stronger than pmos you can keep 120 120 120 120 and this you could keep uh, uh, 240 that was for 45 nanometer okay so uh, you can you can try it out okay one or two uh, simulations you can see uh, how the uh, sizes uh, they are going to no, uh, no <coughs> if it is not an, uh, a proper size you will find that data is not being uh, returned uh, into the uh, transistor okay uh, so you can uh, find that uh, issues okay. so so uh, uh, i will either show the simulation results or at least i will uh, give you one link where i had done it previously a video link where you can uh, see what kind of waveforms you need to give uh, to analyze an sram okay i'll give you that uh, link Sir, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Regarding this. Tell me. So, sir, uh, uh, we will just uh, visit this slide only okay. for both read and write operations, right? So, this is both valid for read and write, right? Yeah. Yes. So, in that case, uh, let, let's let's say um, my bit is 1 okay. and bit bar is 0. Okay. 
Okay. And initially, just like uh, the uh, first slide you had showed, yeah. that uh, the memory cell contains zero. So that means A is uh, zero and A bar is one. Okay. Now uh, I want to uh, I want to write one in it. Yeah. So in that way, bit is one and yeah. bit bar is zero. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, when I put one in the bit uh, bit side yeah. and uh, like there is strong pull down uh, yeah. in the nmos side, yeah. so will it still uh, is it possible to write there in that case? If you have strong nmos, so in that case, if you try to write uh, one in the bit. Uh, wire, so will it still not be pulled down? Yeah, it, my it question will be, is that uh, it will be uh, pulled down. Yeah, it will be pulled uh, down, right? No, I'm because I'm talking about the left side, sir. Left side. No, if it is yes. one out here, that will come here. This has to. Uh, no, uh, uh, you are right. You initially it was zero. You want to write one, right? Yes. Right. So one would come hmm. here, right? Yes. Right. So this this will uh, no pull pull this node to zero, right? Okay. Right. No, but uh, but the A side uh, NMOS is still conducting, right? Uh, initially it was zero. Yeah, it is conducting. So uh, to switch it so, off, you are uh, no, uh, triggering this transistor. So this voltage will go low. Okay. And this will get switched off, right? Okay. So again, okay, you okay, see, uh, what is important is this node being pulled to zero, right? Now, okay. now we want from here uh, this transistor to be switched on. Uh, again, this transistor to be switched on for this node to be pulled to zero, right? Right. So a better okay, option okay. is since you already have zero, if you size this properly, it will be quicker, right? Okay. Right. So here you have like kind of two transistors and are trying to pull down this to uh, zero here, right? You can do that, and that also does help. It's not that this this doesn't help. This also helps, but it would be you know, the making uh, this slightly better uh, will uh, en enhance your uh, uh, problem uh, your uh, uh, switching rates. Okay. So that is the issue. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, now I said, uh, see now if you see here, uh, this particular transistors, uh, you you can't have uh, these bit lines and bit bar lines like this, uh, coming from the microprocessor. If you, uh, right, uh, mostly they'll come from the microprocessor, and and it it could be from uh, one chip to other chip also, right? So these these lines um, will have huge parasitic capacitance, right? Because the SRAM cell itself could be on a different chip and uh, that's mostly the case right uh, ra, ra, the memory will be in different uh, and and so you will have uh, this uh, it, is, it is not only on chip uh, but it, it will be off chip so if it is off chip you will find it is coming through the pin of the uh, chip and then uh, running on the pcb so these will have uh, huge capacitors right so now to drive these lines and uh, asking the memory cell to drive these lines will be uh, too much for it uh, because you will have then each of this cell uh, should be very very uh, uh, high uh, current carrying capacity right so uh, just to uh, avoid that uh, reading is uh, no issue because you will have a driver uh, outside the microprocessor but uh, reading so to read the data what we generally do is uh, we have something known as uh, sense amplifier uh, so this is the uh, bit lines where the memory gets connected okay uh, now uh, on to the bit line okay this is the same bit line which is going to the microprocessor uh, but the moment this uh, bit lines is connected here uh, you also give the uh, enable signal okay sense amplifier enable signal so uh, this pmos will be uh, uh, switched on this nmos also will be switched on it is ac bar out here so this this pmos now what is this this is just an uh, cross connected an uh, <coughs> uh, 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 inverter uh, and uh, and and since from the memory cell you will get an uh, bit and bit bar here uh, so uh, this is going to again uh, uh, read the same data and write it now uh, this sense amplifier uh, these transistors can be very very uh, strong okay so this is actually this is going to come in parallel with the memory cell okay then if you are having a parallel memory cell what is the purpose of the memory cell this sense amplifier and uh, need not it is only one per bit line okay uh, this is not one per memory cell okay so if you have uh, one uh, mega memory 
okay uh, and and uh, one word so how many sense amplifiers will be there sense amplifiers will be if, if it is one word there will be only 16 sense amplifiers one not one mega uh, 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 into 16 okay it will it is not there for every cell it is there only for every bit line okay so this uh, acts like and this is also just uh, like a uh, memory cell only uh, works like a memory cell cross connected amplifiers it, it gets and at the moment you give the sense signals they get in a, uh, connected to the uh, bit and bit bar lines and it, it <coughs> drives the bit and bit bar uh, line out here right so uh, it takes on the uh, the major uh, current uh, which is to be supplied onto the bit and bit bar line uh, to cater for the huge capacitance uh, will be uh, catered for by this uh, you know, sense amplifier and you have a one sense amplifier uh, per bit line okay so if you it's a 16 bit memory one word memory then you will have a 16 sense amplifiers that's all okay so this is uh, one topology uh, this is the second topology uh, here if you see here uh, the bit and uh, uh, these are the lines which are connected to the memory cell uh, this is the one which is coming from the uh, memory cell here they are totally isolated okay uh, so these line here it is the same line it is coming in parallel uh, here it is isolated so this works like an, an a differential amplifier kind of thing uh, so uh, initially both these lines are pre-charged and depending on the uh, bit and bit line and uh, one of the lines will uh, go high okay whenever you give the sense amplifier okay uh, so this is also just like an uh, sense uh, amplifier only uh, from here to here the difference is that uh, here the memory cell and the sense amplifier will be connected in uh, a parallel uh, here it is not connected in parallel okay no the sense amplifiers are not used to write data it is only for uh, reading data okay uh, writing data uh, is the because while we are writing data it is not an issue the memory cell is you know, has got very very less you know, capacitance and from the microprocessor side uh, you you will have an uh, you know, a driver okay so so that will be taken care of okay so you don't have you know, a ri you know, <coughs> write amplifiers you just have a sense amplifiers that is only for the uh, read operation okay so this is our uh, uh, SRMs uh, then no no when i am reading the data from the memory cell right okay let me uh, go back here i am reading the data okay i am enabling what about uh, now when i am reading what does it mean this data available in the cell uh, in the cell uh, needs to be fed to the microprocessor right so so this bit lines will be high capacitance so if i connect a huge capacitance out here okay so without any uh, driver there is a possibility that this data itself might get corrupted right so so sense am so that is the reason i am having a sense amplifier in between the sense amplifier size will be very large so that it is able to drive and uh, provide sufficient current to drive the uh, 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 bit and bit lines which generally has a high capacitance because that lines will be uh, more uh, more often than not uh, interchip connecting bus bars uh, is it okay sense amplifier uh, should not uh, toggle uh, no no they, they no they, here this doesn't have any data right it, it is it is going to sense this data and work accordingly uh, the, this is not a storage it, it won't store any data okay it won't uh, uh, store any data of its own uh, here if you see here you know okay uh, uh, <coughs> it's a latch but then you uh, know uh, uh, before placing the data out here okay there is no power supply available here right you have an a sense uh, switch right so this is if this is switched off whatever they they, they won't it, it won't act like a latch you put the bit and bit lines and then uh, switch on the uh, sense amplifier okay so uh, that is a good uh, question okay uh, yeah uh, i should have explained it better uh, like Anna uh, Amir has got like if, if this is a strong amplifier he said if you put a bit line and initially if it has got say some data then this can override that data okay so that's a very very uh, genuine question uh, uh, but that doesn't happen uh, because before uh, placing this data okay uh, these two transistors are off so this is not an uh, this is not a strong latch in that case okay once you place that data only then uh, we uh, enable that okay uh, okay let's uh, move forward right uh, now uh, we can have uh, something known as uh, 
three transistor uh, on a uh, dynamic ram cell okay now if you see here uh, when i say uh, dynamic okay uh, so uh, don't think dynamic uh, means uh, clocked only always okay uh, so you, you you might think they, where is the clock signal okay no uh, dynamic only uh, means that uh, the, the charge is stored on an uh, capacitor and it it cannot uh, remain infinite and uh, after some time it will get a uh, discharge so dynamically you will have to keep uh, refreshing this data okay that what dynamic means okay uh, dynamic uh, don't connect dynamic with clock okay uh, dynamic means uh, that charge is stored in, uh, on temporary capacitors uh, which requires to be dynamically charged periodically right so but what happens is the charge stored in these capacitors uh, can remain up to few milliseconds okay for f up to few uh, milliseconds right so milliseconds is kilohertz since most of our processors and memory and the ram cells okay they all uh, work in gigahertz range uh, so you can assume that this is remaining constant so there is no problem whatsoever in in most of the uh, modern day processors okay uh, so you can do a simulation also you will find that uh, that that this capacitor you can keep it uh, small switching and uh, time response you can give a you will find this capacitance is you know there for few uh, milliseconds up to 10 milliseconds also i have seen this capacitance being uh, uh, the uh, the charge being stored in this capacitance so that depends on the size of these transistors as well so so but since we uh, modern day processors they operate in gigahertz range so so now if you see the the sram and uh, compared to the sram uh, we are just using you uh, uh, three transistors out here right so uh, so the size is uh, very very uh, compact out here right now how do we uh, write a data uh, here we don't have bit and uh, bit bar lines okay uh, this is the uh, input line and this is the uh, output line okay uh, so whenever i want to write a data i put the data out here and i activate the now uh, a right line now here the right line and the read line are also uh, different in this case so when i uh, activate the right line whatever is this bit that gets written on to this uh, capacitor okay now uh, this capacitor is not an uh, external capacitor okay this is just the parasitic capacitance uh, because of these two uh, transistors okay so uh, cs doesn't mean we are going to put an additional capacitor there okay uh, it, it is just the uh, I can call the drain capacitance and the gate capacitance of these two uh, transistors. So this will be charged. And then once you uh, remove this and uh, a word line out here, uh, there is no path for this to get discharged. This is off. So this will be uh, retained out here, right? And now uh, when, when I have to uh, read here, now the bit, uh, this is the uh, no, read line. Okay, whenever I have to read the data, uh, this will be uh, pre-charged to one. Now, if I have already uh, written uh, one out here and I give the read signal high, so both these transistors uh, will conduct and they'll uh, pull down this voltage to uh, zero out here. Uh, suppose it is zero here, then this transistor will be off, right? In that case, uh, this will uh, continue to remain uh, high. Okay, there could be a little bit of a charge sharing here. Uh, that, that that will be there otherwise this will uh, remain uh, high out here uh, and then you, know, you can take it to an uh, sense amplifier and which will amplify it again uh, further okay uh, is this uh, working uh, understood uh, three transistor uh, there is uh, uh, in dram cell there is one cap plus one transistor isn't it also uh, no this is not an uh, real cap okay uh, so this is just the uh, no, uh, stray, uh, parasitic drain capacitance and the uh, gate capacitance okay uh, so uh, let me uh, repeat this whenever i want to uh, write a data uh, into this node okay uh, what do i do uh, i enable the uh, right right bar and i put the data here and put the right data here so if it is one one will be written here if it is zero it will be zero will be read. when i have to do the read operation i pre-charge this bit like bit bl2 line to one okay uh, i have to pre-charge it because uh, no, it can only pull down this particular circuit can only pull down it to zero it cannot uh, write it to one okay so that is the so this will be pre-charged to one and if initially it is one out here so the moment i read it one and uh, this whatever was the pre-charged value that will be pulled to zero and if it is zero here then m2 remains off so this will continue to remain uh, high 
uh, uh, is it okay uh, kalyani read operation yeah okay uh, so uh, i can have an one transistor uh, dram uh, cell also okay uh, here i have this is the bit line uh, right line so whatever is the data that is going to come here uh, here i have to put an uh, external capacitor okay uh, external capacitor doesn't mean off chip within the chip, okay within the vlsi chip this is a an, uh, an, uh, capacitor out here right so this is a uh, capacitor so this gets charged and whenever i have to uh, read the data uh, again i will uh, activate this line okay so when i am uh, reading it what happens is this is destructive right okay uh, when i am reading it whatever happens i am not going to pre-charge it to one okay i can't do that right i am i have to just read as it is so when i am reading it whatever charge is available here uh, that gets in uh, a distributed between the uh, bit line uh, here so uh, so uh, essentially uh, if it, if it is zero here this will continue to remain zero if it is one here it will not go to full vdd okay it will go to some value okay so generally the difference will be around 250 millivolt uh, for lower technology nodes so that can be sensed okay and and then accordingly the sense amplifier would uh, sense amplifier would uh, uh, drive the actual bit lines okay so this is just an, a single transistor uh, is it okay with all of you single transistor means you have one single transistor this is a capacitor mind you this is an uh, additional capacitor which we are putting when we are uh, want to write the data it is written into this capacitor when i am reading I, again i am reading from this capacitor okay now when i am reading it it is destructive okay it is destructive means these two capacitors will come in uh, parallel and the output voltage depends on uh, yeah like uh, rightly brought out by uh, saubhagya the output uh, depends on the ratio of these two uh, capacitors okay so uh, so there will be uh, uh, some for zero no problem it will be zero for one you will not get full vdd okay uh, as such this doesn't get charged to full vdd because we are writing one with the help of an nmos okay uh, so it will not get charged to full vdd uh, again because of the charge sharing it will be so so generally uh, from zero this will go uh, 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 typically around 250 millivolt okay uh, so it will go up to 250 uh, millivolt okay yeah. <coughs> in three transistor if we write one and then uh, read uh, and then read we get a uh, zero uh, no uh, yeah yeah correct so you'll, uh, you, you know the data will be inverted out here so the sense amplifier uh, it all depends from the sense amplifier finally uh, where we take the output you can uh, swap the uh, v out and a uh, v in there okay uh, so you can do that okay and now this is uh, some uh, disadvantages of uh, 1t it requires a sense amplifier uh, okay charge distribution is there uh, single ended uh, 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 <coughs> dram cells are uh, single ended compared to sram cells right we we we, do, we didn't have bit and uh, bit rams okay uh, so most of the uh, d rams like we are talking about in modern day processor okay ddr rams they are all dynamic rams right in in our pcs uh, why are we switched over from static rams to dynamic rams is uh, because uh, they are very very uh, compact okay so you can have a uh, large it doesn't occupy a uh, space it doesn't take that much of power as compared to uh, sram okay but they are uh, slow with re with respect to the srams because in srams you have a positive feedback okay so uh, we saw that right when we uh, discussed uh, here right they act you know, together uh, so uh, they are cross coupled so they work they switch very fast so that is the reason uh, where you have some of the modern microprocessors uh, will have an a uh, small element of uh, sram and a small capacity sram within the microprocessor chip uh, which is uh, like cache memory cache memory is something which you keep uh, uh, <coughs> uh, referring to uh, very often that memory line so in the cache memory is generally uh, sram okay uh, dynamic uh, uh, <coughs> cells are you know, uh, because it is very very uh, compact and and like they did said it is you know, very very cheap as compared to uh, sram right because it is very uh, high density packing as well as the because of the cost issue also you know, we generally have uh, dynamic ramps okay okay uh, now uh, coming to uh, read only uh, memory 
okay uh, how is an uh, uh, does a read only memory works is you have an uh, uh, input address lines so one of the word lines goes uh, high okay so this row gets activated and you will have certain uh, columns okay uh, so this is the output data like for an uh, 8 bit output on a rom now uh, we need to uh, program these connections okay uh, initially all these connections suppose they are not you know, they are all you know, not made okay uh, so they just criss crossing so wherever you make the connections okay that is what is known as programming of an uh, rom so let me uh, give an uh, example out here uh, here right so the, wherever i have put the cross that means it is uh, programmed okay like that okay the connections have been made between the horizontal lines and the uh, vertical lines now uh, suppose i give uh, an uh, address an uh, 3 okay uh, 3 means this particular line uh, okay if i give address okay now it is an a uh, 4 bit address line uh, i give an uh, uh, <coughs> 00 and a uh, uh, 011 if i give this line will be activated now if this line is activated i find there is a connection here there is a connection here here and here so i will have an a 1 a 0 right for 3 it is 0 here 1 1 0 0 10 so i'll get this particular uh, output okay so this is the data uh, similarly if i activate an uh, address line 0 here so i'll get an uh, uh, 10110110 so various uh, so all this all that i need to do is you know uh, fix these uh, connections the way i want okay uh, uh, no connection means no as of now just uh, na remember this is a kind of an uh, or gates now we are going to see what these connections is okay so our aim is to make these connections so let's see uh, how these connections are uh, made uh, no connection means as of now it is zero okay connection means it is going to be uh, high so we are going to see that now how to na uh, program this okay uh, so there are several ways of na uh, programming this rom Uh, now we are talking about there are, there is a set of horizontal lines and there are set of uh, vertical uh, lines okay these horizontal lines uh, are being powered by the decoder okay so there is going to be a voltage available on these horizontal lines depending on the uh, address which we are going to place here uh, now these are all the vertical line uh, they are horizontally running okay uh, no orthogonally running this is metal this is one metal and uh, this is the uh, second metal now what are the various uh, methods of connecting interconnecting them so you can, one method is during metallization okay this is um, one metal this is the second metal so wherever we want a connection we can put an a uh, wire out here okay so this becomes an uh, rom okay rom means you you can just program it only uh, once once du during the fabrication so wherever during the fabrication you have placed a wire there all these connections will be made okay so after that you can't just you can't do a, uh, anything about this okay this is programmed and uh, lifelong this will remain like this okay it, it will do the it will once you place the address it will give the same data you can't uh, Uh, rewrite any data or erase data so this is uh, masking during uh, metallization okay so this will be done in the fab lab itself okay so these are the uh, roms uh, the second option which is uh, available is uh, you have these vertical lines and uh, instead of uh, wires you 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 create very very thin uh, na metal uh, lines okay by uh, uh, during fabrication again and once the chip is fabricated then uh, you will see okay uh, so this the, what is the advantage out uh, na, in this particular as come here you see uh, it will uh, require na, a different mask for uh, different proms okay roms uh, here the same uh, mask can be used because there will be connections everywhere and once the chip is na, ro, uh, rom chip is fabricated externally i will uh, na, uh, give voltages uh, na, uh, uh, and and uh, high voltage and burn off na, the connections where i don't require okay so this is known as a fusible uh, prom okay so uh, uh, is this uh, thing uh, understood okay wherever i don't want connection i give high voltage and fuse this prom so this is known as a fuse prom okay so this is much better okay than the previous uh, one okay okay Uh, so now uh, after that uh, came the uh, eprom okay uh, what an uh, eprom is uh, like you, it is a like mosfet kind of mosfet only so you have an oxide okay uh, within the oxide okay there is an a polysilicon uh, gate okay floating gate uh, why i am calling it floating is no correction is brought out of this gate okay 
now when i give a positive voltage out here a high positive voltage as uh, so i suppose the normal operation is just 5 volt okay but uh, for uh, programming this i give 20 volt here okay and i give a uh, 5 volt out here right and i give ground here so this you know, once i give 5 volt and ground here this this is like a non uh, normal nmos electrons will start uh, flowing into the channel and because of the high voltage which is uh, given on to the control gate out here right some electrons because of a hot carrier effect they will you know, uh, pass through this oxide and get accumulated on the floating gate okay uh, because if you see here uh, 20 volt uh, divided by a few nanometers uh, it is mega volts uh, na, uh, 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 per uh, meter uh, field electric field electric field is voltage divided by L, uh, distance right so uh, uh, although you are you might feel it's only 20 volt but this is in nanometers right or few nanometers so hence the electric field which is set up here very is very very high so even if you give 20 volt it will be uh, very very and since this uh, is small these uh, hot electrons they get accelerated at a very high uh, velocity and they will jump through and get accumulated here and now once it gets accumulated you remove the control gate and now suppose for a normal operation i am giving 5 volt out here right this will not get switched on because the electrons which is deposited here will not allow they will ripple these electrons here and they will uh, not allow the channel to be formed here so i have an uh, in all these junctions okay uh, uh, here in all these junctions initially i will have all transistors okay connecting this line to here this line to here this line to here so those transistors those places where i do i want it to be completely off i program it by giving a high control voltage to that particular memory cell which will pull the electrons from the channel hot electrons into the floating gate and then when i give a normal voltage channel will not be formed because the electrons available in the uh, floating gate will ripple these electrons so you have to give a much higher voltage for this to get switched on it is like moving the threshold voltage uh, beyond the normal operation regime so this this transistor becomes uh, kind of permanently uh, switched off uh, is this concept understood by uh, all of you yeah uh, rajesh swati anybody how it works yeah okay uh, now now remember when i say when i am programming a transistor it means i am making it permanently off okay now uh, how to uh, but it says you know uh, e prom uh, e prom means erasable programmable rom so how do i erase it okay so you will find uh, these transistors okay this is the transistor this is uh, just the now uh, 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 here so if i uh, uh, give an uh, uh, ultraviolet rays out here okay th that would excite these uh, by giving voltage here i i given positive voltage to the drain i give a uh, negative voltage to the source and i put an uh, uh, ultraviolet rays out here so they will excite these electrons and under the positive uh, voltage being applied to the drain uh, they will get uh, uh, they will go back to the uh, drain okay so this was the uh, philosophy which was and uh, uh, giving uh, ultraviolet rays okay this was the one which was known as okay now these things also have gone out of fashion now now uh, what we have is known as uh, ee prom okay uh, what is ee prom is electrically erasable uh, proms okay now what is uh, to write a data uh, i gave a uh, gate voltage out here right and and then uh, these electrons will uh, the, the right operation is similar to like an eprom okay to erase the data i give a reverse voltage okay i give a zero voltage here uh, and i give an, an uh, uh, 20 volt on the uh, drain side okay uh, so while writing the data actually uh, because these electrons come accelerated into the channel and they can jump through right so that was the pre like in the previous case but uh, erasing you know, what happens is to facilitate electrical erasing uh, what we do is uh, you see here uh, the drain here the uh, na, um, uh, this floating gate is brought very very close to the drain okay uh, so very very thin uh, oxide layer uh, here right if this if this is in a few nanometers uh, this will be even lesser out here 
so that is the reason we are able to uh, erase it so uh, towards the drain side only it is not required to, uh, towards the source side so uh, towards the drain side if you see here there is a small uh, c out here uh, is it okay with all of you so if we given uh, like if i write er see the erase voltage is given zero here uh, 20 volt here so i don't require an uh, ultraviolet rays out here because this is fabricated like this a very very uh, very high electric field sets up here and that will be uh, and the electrons will be able to uh, even without any because there is no initial velocity here okay that is the reason while writing there is no problem there is a uh, there is a scope for electrons to get accelerated towards the channel right uh, here there is no uh, this is known as a tunneling effect whereas an, uh, an, a writing operation is through the uh, hot carrier effect a and whereas this is known as the tunneling effect okay so uh, it just these electrons tunnel through the small uh, barrier out here okay uh, so this is known as the uh, e proms okay uh, now uh, we we will see an uh, how an an a mos is uh, uh, how an a rom is organized okay uh, this is known as a mos uh, or rom i'll tell you why it is known as an uh, or rom uh, now uh, these are the horizontal lines uh, these are the uh, vertical and uh, bit lines these are the uh, word lines so uh, obviously uh, from the decoder uh, one of the word lines will be uh, activated okay only one word line will go uh, high at any uh, given time now all these uh, uh, bit lines uh, okay they, you have a very very uh, weak uh, n mos which is pulling it to zero uh, so that uh, okay normally these lines will remain a uh, zero and any uh, stray voltage which is available on this line uh, that will be a uh, pull to zero but they are very uh, weak transistors okay when i say uh, weak the w by l ratio will be very very low uh, the length will be kept in a, a much higher as compared to the width okay so it is weak transistors uh, now whenever a word line is selected uh, wherever the transistor remains okay actually initially at each of these place there will be a transistor which will be connected here so while we are uh, programming it right we make those that transistor uh, dysfunctional right by putting charge onto the gate so here that transistor has been made permanently off so wherever we don't see the transistors actually there is transistors but then they have been uh, made and uh, off for normal read write operations and that is why it is uh, not shown out here now if you see here uh, so if i give a word line is equal to zero i will have uh, 0 1 uh, 0 uh, 0 0 output right uh, similarly if this line is activated i will have 1 0 0 1 so that is the kind of various outputs and uh, i can have various and uh, data can be written into each of these uh, words okay <clears throat> now uh, only thing is uh, obviously this since these are uh, weak they and uh, these transistors they come in a parallel operation so vdd uh, and this is this is going to be charged to vdd while this continues to remain an, uh, on okay so there will be some uh, static current and uh, flowing in these uh, lights but uh, since it's weak and uh, 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 it's not a uh, very big uh, issue okay and now uh, why is it known as uh, or rom is just because of the topology now if you see here uh, this line b0 v1 uh, will go high uh, big, uh, if this is high or this is high okay uh, but it never happens ki both of them are high okay it is just the topology is like an or gate we call it as an uh, or rom because this is coming from a decoder so at any given time only one line will go high okay just because they are the way it is connected here it appears like an or gate okay so that is the reason we call it as an uh, or rom uh, okay uh, uh, is it okay shall we uh, move forward so this is known as uh, mos uh, uh, or rom right uh, you could have an mos uh, nor rom also okay uh, in this case also see this is the uh, a1 a2 and uh, uh, this is the address line uh, one of the rows will go high okay so this is see, one of the rows will go uh, high out here so this is the uh, ground lines okay this is one ground line so you have a large number of ground lines going right for these two rows together there is one ground line these two rows together there is one ground line uh, so uh, this is permanently charged to uh, the, you have an uh, weak pull up device here there you had a weak uh, pull down device here you will have a weak uh, uh, pull up device so whenever this word line is activated uh, here you will find there is a transistor which is connected here so this will become uh, zero out here this will also become zero uh, here there is no transistor so this will continue to uh, 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 remain uh, high 
uh, whereas uh, here again it is connected so it will be uh, pulled down to uh, zero here so uh, it is again nor because these are all uh, connected in uh, parallel right so power both nmos and pmos yeah yes there will be a uh, power dissipation in these circuits okay so you will have to keep this uh, as a uh, uh, weak uh, uh, weak pull up devices okay so this is known as uh, mos uh, nor rom okay just because they are configured like this so you could have this uh, or you could have it MOS and NAND ROM also. Okay, uh, here it is configured here. Now in the uh, MOS uh, NAND RAM, uh, what is uh, important out here is, okay, uh, uh, this is uh, active low from the decoder side. Okay, uh, so if I give a zero zero, this line will go uh, low. Otherwise, this will all remain uh, one. If normally if these are ones, this output will be pulled to uh, zero. Uh, so the moment uh, one word line suppose word line 3 is connected this will be switched off and this will uh, rise to 1 okay uh, similarly uh, if either word line 1 or word 2 uh, one of them is uh, selected uh, then this will be uh, switched off so that is why uh, this will go to high okay uh, this is known as an NAND because if you see this is the NAND structure right uh, transistors in a series like this okay so that is that name comes from the uh, topology out here okay but again here only one of the lines will go uh, zero at any uh, given time it is active low signal is required to drive this particular uh, ROM uh, is it okay with uh, all of you right okay uh, so so like uh, 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 Saubhagya brought out, there, there is an uh, issue that there is a uh, path between VDD and ground. Uh, so to eliminate that, uh, what we can have is a pre-charge. Okay? Uh, this is again the NOR ROM. Uh, we can pre-charge these lines okay, with the uh, uh, PMOS transistor. So this uh, pre-charge is a small duration pulse. It will just uh, pre-charge these lines and then it will get switched off. And then uh, depending on the uh, word lines, it will be, so this is ground line, right? So, so it will, depending on uh, the word line, which is whichever is selected and also depending on whether there is a transistor connected there or not, those particular lines will be uh, pulled to zero. So this eliminates that uh, problem of uh, <coughs> power consumption, uh, okay? So there is no direct path between uh, VDD and ground. So this is known as pre-charged MOS nor ROM, okay? For, from your examination point of view also, uh, all these things are uh, important, okay? So try to understand it, okay? Now uh, you can have uh, like uh, row decoders, right? Uh, we are now talking about the uh, decoder uh, which is here this this decoder I, we said we this this decoder right you have an address line and one of the rows have to be uh, going high so how to implement that now that that is what we are going to uh, discuss here so what we can do is uh, these are the lines okay uh, say eight lines i am talking about an eight bit okay eight lines we need eight inverters to generate bar signals also and then we can use uh, 256 NAND and 256 NOR gates, right? So, because there are 256 lines, so those many uh, NAND gates and NOR gates will be there, uh, and each of this will be a uh, 8 input, okay? Uh, so, for uh, for example, for W0, I give uh, A0 bar, A1 bar, A2 bar, A3 bar, A4 bar, A5, 6, and A7 bar. So, all the bar signals, if I give this, this line will go high. Uh, similarly, for 1111, I give A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, all ones out here. So, this will be the highest, this will, this word line will get selected. Okay. So, 256 gate. Now, all of this, them will be now 8 input gates okay so that we also saw if you have a large fan in there is an uh, issue with the propagation delay right so we can have an alternate uh, topology out here so this is what is uh, done here uh, now if you see these are only uh, four input and, uh, and gates okay uh, nand gates and then uh, you have these uh, right uh, uh, trans a0 a1 bit is uh, clubbed here uh, so there are uh, four nor gates uh, A2, A3 is here. Again, there will be uh, another 4 here. It is not uh, shown out here, but it will be right in uh, A4 and A5 and A5 and 6. Okay, so similarly, uh, another uh, set of uh, two sets of uh, four uh, nor. Now, for 0, 0, if you see here, uh, this line will go high. So uh, this will be uh, uh, this will be 0 out here, right? Uh, this will be uh, 1 out here. 
and a 0 0 from here also it will be 1 here uh, from the next 2 also it will be uh, uh, 1 1 here so all ones this will go 0 so this will give an active low output signal for all 0 0 0 0 for uh, 0 1 the next uh, bit okay now you will find uh, uh, this will go 0 but this will go uh, 1 out here right uh, whereas uh, here it is again uh, it is connected to the 0 and from the next 2 also these also will be connected to the uh, 0 0 uh, combination so this line will go high right so uh, this way uh, now the final outputs are all uh, active low okay uh, for this particular config configuration right so if you see here uh, again you will require 256 nand gates okay but the thing is there are only uh, four input and uh, gates are, are required uh, because now we have taken two two bits and already made an an nor combination out of that okay uh, is this uh, clear to all of you how does an uh, row decoder uh, work yeah okay if it is uh, clear uh, we will move forward okay uh, this is a uh, simpler way of an, uh, implementing it uh, this is using uh, like pass transistor okay uh, so what is done here now if i if you see this is a uh, vdd and this is pre charge so all these lines will be na uh, uh, pre charge to uh, uh, 1 okay uh, now if it is pre charge to 1 if it is in a uh, 0 0 right so if it is 0 0 you will find this transistor will be switched on and this transistor also will be switched on so this line will get connected to a uh, uh, ground right so so uh, uh, so so you will find uh, this is becoming a uh, uh, zero uh, here right uh, so similarly uh, uh, for uh, uh, the other combinations for zero one zero two so you will find uh, this is an uh, nand similarly nand configuration uh, out here i am not sure if i, I am uh, making a, a mistake here uh, this is a pre charge to uh, one out here right so uh, if it is a is equal to uh, uh, zero uh, this will be uh, switched on so this will uh, get charged to uh, zero and uh, a1 is equal to uh, zero uh, this will also get a uh, pre charge uh, this will also go to uh, uh, zero so uh, if uh, if any uh, one of them is one okay uh, this has to be uh, uh, zero okay uh, so uh, let me <coughs> so this is actually an, an uh, uh, nor okay uh, i made a uh, mistake actually in understanding let me just uh, correct that okay so this acts like an uh, nor okay so uh, if you see here e even if one of them either a0 or 1 okay uh, is 1 here okay only for a uh, 0 0 condition uh, this line will continue to remain a uh, 1 okay for all other conditions this will be pulled to na uh, uh, this will continue to uh, remain a uh, 1 so th this is like an uh, 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 this will uh, work like a uh, decoder it will be pre charged to 1 uh, for uh, other than uh, 0 0 it will remain 1 okay for other than 0 0 condition it will remain to 1 if it is in a uh, 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 if it is 0 0 it will uh, remain uh, uh, oh, am i correct can any uh, one help me out with this so there are two transistors out here right if 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 both are zero uh, like zero zero right this will be off and this will be off and this will continue to remain one correct right so this will so that is how it works uh, similarly for an uh, nand gate if you see here uh, this is uh, connected uh, ground out here right here they are in parallel uh, here it is in uh, series out here right so if it is in uh, series out here if you see here this is uh, a bar is given here and uh, a1 bar so both becomes an uh, uh, one out here in this case uh, if it is 0 0 so this will be a cha uh, pull to 0 here so this is again uh, active low okay it will be pre charged this line will be pre charged and for 0 0 it will be a uh, discharge to 0 so you can have uh, decoders you know, instead of all these you know, uh, gates out here a simple uh, pass transistor logic uh, will uh, help okay uh, so here if you see uh, the number of transistors are there uh, you can uh, reduce the number of transistors uh, considerably by uh, using uh, na, a tree based column decoder okay uh, here if you see here na, uh, a0 
okay uh, a0 is for 0 0 the line will be from here right from a1 bar uh, here uh, for uh, 0 1 right it will be uh, from here so you will have an alternate path so this is like a uh, tree so okay the only problem here the delay will be large okay because you are making an uh, tree out here for small uh, number of address lines it's okay for large number of address lines the delay will become a uh, uh, very very uh, high so uh, this topology is uh, better than this although it consumes larger number of uh, transistors okay uh, here you can save on certain number of transistors but the because it it, it, it keeps expanding like a uh, tree so the delays will be slightly on the uh, higher side okay so uh, this is what an uh, uh, um, uh, tree based column decoder looks like and then uh, coming to uh, flash storage like uh, these days you have an uh, ssd storages right you have pen drives and all uh, so there are two types of uh, flash memories one is a nand which is and uh, which is nor okay but the basic building block uh, is very very similar to double uh, eprom okay uh, so uh, here uh, w what is different from the double uh, 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 eprom is that uh, this layer is very very uh, thin okay so reading and writing operation okay uh, can be uh, you need not uh, require very very high very high voltages okay with moderate voltages also we can uh, read the data into this cell it is again a floating gate okay so it is an a uh, floating gate same concept is applied here but okay the the layer is very very uh, thin so you don't require a uh, high voltages like 20 volts and all uh, to read the data and write the data okay it, it can do uh, uh, same otherwise the read write uh, uh, things is uh, i think we have got uh, some uh, examples uh, to explain this concept further now how read and write operation is done so the only difference between triple e from is uh, okay uh, it is like uh, no, uh, tunneling concept is used here not a uh, hot carrier okay so that is the only difference so you could have an uh, nor architecture or you could have an uh, nand architecture okay and uh, nor you will find uh, these things are uh, connected in uh, parallel uh, whereas in uh, nand they are connected in uh, series okay we'll see some architectures in detail uh, now so to in another four five slides so it will be clear right so uh, this is an uh, nor so you have a uh, multiple uh, ground lines okay uh, so you will find this is word zero word so whenever i uh, suppose i have to uh, uh, write a data okay uh, into some transistor what i do is uh, like this is uh, zero uh, this is zero uh, this is zero i want to write a data into this particular uh, cell okay so i put a vdd here uh, i put a ground here and i give a vpp okay vpp is, sli is slightly higher than vdd okay it is not as high as 20 volt which is required for uh, 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 triple e uh, double e prompts but it is slightly higher than vdd so it will ensure that this uh, uh, this electrons uh, uh, punch through this layer oxide layer and gets deposited in the floating gate out here and while writing this data this transistor becomes okay uh, non operational if you have uh, now uh, among all these cells only this particular cell uh, will become non operational when we are writing the data because we are giving vdd here zero here and vpp here electrons will uh, tunnel through this uh, uh, insulator and get deposited in the floating gate and then uh, if you apply vdd now here this will not be switched on because the threshold voltage has been uh, 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 moved further ahead because of the charge which gets deposited in the uh, floating gate okay so uh, this is how uh, uh, this write data uh, is there now uh, when you have to uh, erase the data okay uh, either you can uh, 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 keep it uh, open out here right and then just apply uh, 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 a, a high voltage here right suppose in this cell okay you have keep so now what happens is uh, um, whatever is the uh, charge which is accumulated here that gets discharged now uh, while doing so uh, what happens is the data of all the cells out here okay even if you keep here zero vdd doesn't matter since you are giving a high voltage here out here the data of the entire uh, row gets erased okay so that but that is okay uh, because generally uh, uh, we erase the entire word data right we don't uh, change write data bitwise uh, which we uh, write and read entire uh, word wise data so that is okay so there is a drawback out here but that is uh, okay in this case okay uh, but uh, the uh, one problem out here is this is a uh, uh, faster to read and write okay nor uh, flash uh, okay uh, so <clears throat> but the problem is 
uh, it is not a high density because for each of the rows uh, you require a uh, separate line out here and to erase data also you have to erase word by word okay so these are the uh, two disadvantage of an a nor flash okay the advantage is it is very fast right the disadvantage is that it has got uh, each of the word has got an uh, separate line out here this is known as a source line okay this is, or you can call, call as ground line uh, it is not ground line because we do apply for uh, erase operation uh, vdd so this is known as source line okay so each of these words has got a uh, different source line okay uh, and hence it is not an uh, packing density is poor and also uh, while erasing uh, word by word uh, erase uh, nah, you have to do that uh, nah, okay you will have to keep uh, uh, selecting like this and do that uh, so that is the uh, thing okay you can have a nand flash also now here the nand is connected in uh, this manner okay series now suppose i have to uh, uh, write a data okay uh, what do i do uh, so uh, say, suppose this is vdd uh, and and a uh, zero out here right and i give an a vp so this particular cell this electrons will be an accelerated uh, it will come from this cell this cell okay it will not get accumulated here because it is vdd here it is vdd here only in this particular uh, cell it is vpp here right so this will get uh, this uh, there will be an uh, <coughs> jump through the oxide out here and this cell will get uh, uh, return uh, will become ineffective for the normal read write uh, read operation okay so here if you see here only this particular uh, cell so you could write data parallelly also provided you accordingly give vdd and ground but here in this particular case it is vpp and vpp here vpp vpp here so these cells and uh, there is no current flowing here so they don't get affected uh, in this particular configuration only this particular cell will get na uh, return with the uh, uh, permanent uh, uh, zero out here uh, semi permanent uh, zero here right similarly if you want to uh, erase the data uh, you put an uh, 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 vpp here and uh, zero here and and you given an uh, uh, zero here so this uh, this will get an uh, uh, erased okay uh, now you can do bulk erasing also right so you can give zero for all the word lines and do an bulk erasing also so uh, that is the advantage of a nand flash okay uh, the packing density is uh, high because each of them they don't have a separate source line the source line so that is why uh, we generally find in the market a nand uh, na flash because the packing density is very very high uh, erasing the data is uh, pretty uh, fast okay but uh, read write operation is slightly uh, slower because you will find these are all uh, connected in uh, series okay so that is the disadvantage of an uh, nand uh, flash okay uh, and coming to the uh, last uh, topic which is known as a uh, content addressable uh, memory okay uh, so till now uh, we were talking about like we place an address on to the address bus bar and we get the required data on to the data and uh, on to the uh, data line right so one of the memory cells will be uh, selected and uh, you have you can have an a uh, 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 reverse uh, thing also uh, you place the na uh, na data on to the data bus bar and you have you activate all the memory cells in one go uh, and if uh, generally in this these kind of configurations the data has to be unique so one of the memory cells uh, uh, which has got this particular uh, data and uh, the same data which matches that will give me an uh, output signal and that will be uh, a, a now no, not a decoder but i will have an encoder and that will give me the address line okay so these are generally used in uh, communication networks and all uh, where uh, every node is given uh, some uh, address right so say uh, say for example <coughs> okay uh, ana uh, saubhagya is given uh, some ana uh, address okay now uh, i want to connect uh, my network to saubhagya so i have saubhagya's ana uh, id uh, okay data so i place that ana uh, id on to the data bus uh, and i recover what is the address okay that is the address which i have given uh, for her ana uh, router okay or for the data to be routed so it is the other way around uh, okay i am not uh, trying to find out uh, first trying to find out what is the address and place the uh, because i know i already know okay whom i need to send so i know the data which is uh, na pertaining to so some uh, na network uh, na switching uh, they use this kind of an uh, uh, philosophy okay uh, so how does it uh, actually work okay if you see uh, this cell out here this is uh, let's understand how it works for a one particular uh, cell uh, suppose initially uh, na uh, this one we have uh, written 
data 1 into this uh, cell okay initially i have written 1 now i now i want to check uh, whether you know, uh, this particular cell has got a 1 or 0 what do i do i don't activate the word line okay i don't activate the word line i just put 1 into the bit line and a 0 into the bit bar line okay and i will uh, check what happens to the match now since if it's now 1 uh, if i put 1 out this match line is pre charged to 1 okay it is pre charged to 1 now uh, this is 1 okay so this transistor is on okay but initially if this transistor is 1 okay bit bar will be 0 so this transistor will be switched off so whatever is charge is available in the match line pre charge that will continue to remain 1 that means if i am writing a 1 into the bit line and earlier also it was 1 here the match line will continue to remain 1 so if suppose i take the other way around initially if it was 0 okay uh, so then the bit bar line will be on now i am putting uh, bit line 1 right a match line has been pre charged to 1 now the bit line is 1 bit bar line from the previous stage it is 1 so these two transistors will switch on and that will uh, bring down my match line to a 0 right so if it is not matching so th that happens from uh, this side also right so if the data okay uh, uh, is same if it is same happens for zero also right if it is initially if it is zero uh, again i am putting a zero out here then this match line continues to remain high if the, if the uh, data which is uh, uh, what is being put onto the bit lines is different from what was there in the uh, cell previously then this line will be brought to zero otherwise this will continue to remain a uh, one uh, uh, is it uh, rajesh is it uh, clear uh, how this is working this is kind of new data and the previous data new data and the previous data okay uh, uh, bit and bit bar okay if they are obviously if they are uh, same this stands uh, they will be complementary to each other this is bit this is bit bar bit and bit bar so if the previous two data are remaining and uh, are the same uh, one of uh, for for zero uh, this will be on for one this will be. if they are same they will be uh, uh, together they will be switching on and if they are different and uh, both of them will be so it will uh, remain pre-charged okay so this is the uh, layout for that uh, so you could have like you know um, uh, n number of uh, uh, that is only for one bit so you could have an uh, uh, say for a word line there could be now uh, four four bits eight bits 16 bits so it will all be a uh, pre-charged and then we put that data and we see whether the match line is going on a low or uh, high okay uh, so here if you see here uh, this is what it, it is in a pre-charging okay this what clock when i am writing it here uh, it is in a pre-charging and what is this miss line is it is just an inverter okay so uh, match and an uh, inversion of that is miss so i am using an uh, inverter here to get the uh, miss line okay so this is the uh, miss line okay so this is uh, what is known as <coughs> now what is this known as the name is content addressable a memory a cap okay so these kind of memories also uh, do uh, exist okay so uh, with that uh, we uh, uh, come to end uh, to uh, towards uh, <coughs> end of this class but let me uh, quickly uh, show you uh, some simulation so uh, this is the uh, uh, sram uh, we discussed okay uh, so this is the uh, sram cell uh, this is the uh, right cells okay these are the uh, right cells these are these two are the right cells uh, uh, okay uh, right cells uh, sorry here uh, so i have uh, put this word these are the word lines uh, this is the right uh, transistor okay to write the data uh, out here right so uh, if i uh, do a simulation so uh, uh, if you see here so uh, this is the uh, d data and uh, Uh, I think I need to uh, show the uh, plot the uh, right lines and the uh, word lines also right uh, uh, this is Q this is uh, D uh, this is the uh, word line now uh, I need to show the right line also right 
Now, uh, if you see here, uh, both in this particular simulation and circuit, both the uh, right light and the word line, whenever it is going high, the output is being uh, slaved. Okay, here you will find uh, both the word line and the right line are going high, uh, so the output is being slaved. Okay, here it is now zero zero one. It is coming to one here. Okay, because uh, here I have made this word line and this has a right line and the word line. Okay, so word line is selecting this particular uh, cell and a right line is putting that data onto this particular uh, uh, line out here, a bit and bit bar line. Uh, so uh, if you see here, uh, so that is working fine. Now, if I increase the size of uh, this transistor to uh, 800. PMOS transistor. I said this PM, these NMOS have to be stronger than this PMOS. So if I try to make it as uh, 800, okay, and if I uh, run a simulation, I will find this uh, uh, data is not being able, it is not able to uh, capture that data. Right. So the sizing is an uh, uh, important. Right. So uh, I have explained uh, this uh, uh, how to pre-charge and discharge in uh, one of my videos. So you can go to my web page. I have uh, done a uh, uh, full simulation of this circuit. So you can uh, go through that uh, in case you are interested in uh, replicating this uh, uh, design. And uh, there is a sense, sense amplifier. I have shown. Uh, what are the signals to be uh, given and, and how to simulate the entire functioning of an SRAM in that video. So, uh, you could uh, go to my uh, web page. Uh, there is something uh, known as, I think, there is a course uh, on uh, CMOS design with LT Spice. It is known as like that. So, in, in there, uh, one of the lessons would be uh, SRAM design. Okay, In that, you could uh, find this uh, video and entire uh, simulation. Okay, uh, So, uh, that is all uh, for today. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, in